What's up there parents and welcome back to our channel Kidspiration. Today we're diving into a very common struggle that many of us face and that is toddlers who won't eat. If you're dealing with a picky eater or a little one who's just not interested in food, do not worry, you are not alone. Let's dive into some tips to help you navigate this very challenging phase and yes, it is just a phase. First up, I'd like to point out, make sure that you stay calm and patient. How we handle situations will greatly affect how our children respond. Toddlers can pick up on our stress, so try to stay calm during mealtimes. Keep the atmosphere positive and relaxed. And remember, most of the time this is just a phase and it will pass. Tip number two is to offer a variety of foods. Keep offering a variety of foods, healthy ones especially, even if your toddler rejects them at first. Sometimes it does take several tries before they accept a new food, so don't give up too quickly. And the earlier you start doing this, the better it is. Next up is to get creative with presentation. If you think about when you go to a restaurant or you're served food and it's plated beautifully, you are li more likely to want to eat it, and sometimes our toddlers are the same way. It's just about how the food looks, so try rearranging the food in fun shapes or using colorful plates to make mealtime more appealing. Next up is probably my favorite tip, and that is to let them help. Toddlers love to feel independent, so involve them in mealtime preparation. You can let them wash veggies, stir ingredients, or even choose what to have for dinner. When they feel like they have a say, they might be more willing to eat. It's like if we come home from a long day of work and we're hungry, and we get to pick what we want to eat, we'll pick what we're in the mood for. So every once in a while, giving your child an opportunity to pick what they're in the mood for will help mealtimes go a little bit smoother as well. Tip number five is to stick to a routine. Establishing a regular meal and snack schedule can be very, very helpful. It helps create a sense of structure and predictability for your toddler, which kids thrive on, and it makes them more likely to eat when it is actually time to eat. Next up, and if you've ever seen a video on this channel, you know what I'm gonna say, and that is to set a good example. Children often mimic what they see, so be a positive role model by eating healthy foods yourself. If they see you eating fruits and vegetables, they might be more inclined to try them as well. Tip number seven can be a bit challenging, but it's very important to avoid pressure and power struggles. Forcing your child to eat or bribing them with some type of reward often can backfire. Instead, offer the food without pressure and let them decide whether or not to eat it. Oftentimes just leaving them by it and not trying to force it on them after a couple of minutes, they'll start exploring it themselves versus feeling like they have to, where as they grow older, they might develop a poor relationship with food because of it. So you wanna to try to avoid things like that. Next up, and it is an important one, and that is to limit distractions during mealtime, such as a TV or toys or tablets so that your toddler can focus on eating. I don't know if this is a problem elsewhere in the world, but I know it is something very common here in America um, where we've kind of gotten in the habit over the past say 20 30 years of eating in front of the tv and now especially giving our kids tablets so that they can be distracted with the tablet while we're essentially force feeding them the problem with this is that long term it really breeds both a poor relationship with food and just poor eating habits in general um forcing them to eat without distractions without a tv without tablets it may be a little bit difficult now but it will help them tune into their hunger cues and encourage more mindful eating and just a better relationship with food overall tip number nine is to stay consistent consistency is key when it comes to toddler behavior stick to your mealtime routines and rules even on days when it feels like nothing is working i promise eventually it will pay off and last tip is to consult a professional if needed. If your toddler's eating habits are causing significant stress where you're concerned about their nutrition and health, you might want to seek advice from a pediatrician or a registered dietitian or a holistic health person, anybody who you think might be able to shed some light on the situation. Now remember, every child is different and what works for one of your kids may not work for another. So be patient, stay positive, and keep experimenting with different strategies until you find one that works best for you and your little one. Hang in there, parents. You've got this. Thanks for visiting our channel, Kidspiration. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Until then, happy parenting.